you feel for Alcaraz, head in the towel, head in his hands. I'm sure he's feeling emotional under there. I can't believe what has happened. Hit a million tennis balls in his life. Preparation to become a player and break through, but very hard to prepare for an atmosphere like this. Everyone against him. An 18-year-old Carlos Alcaraz was facing the local hope, Hugo Gaston, at the 2021 Paris Masters. But, as the intro suggests, this was not just any other tennis match. Jeers, whistling, boos, and the French crowd serenading the French player and loudly clapping, anticipating and celebrating every Alcaraz mistake. This led to one thing, a collapse. Some may call the atmosphere boisterous and electric, but I would argue otherwise. A lack of respect, a legalized form of torture and torment. This atmosphere was simply not fair because it crossed beyond the boundaries of acceptability. But one thing is not debatable. It built Carlos Alcaraz's character. From coughing up a 5-0 lead to winning the following week's next-gen ATP finals and the next year finishing the year as world number one and winning the US Open. Alcaraz has since moved into a league of his own. And where is Gaston, you ask? He's currently playing in the Leon Open after qualifying and is ranked 99th in the world. But you have to give it up to him. He was playing crazy that day, as is shown in the following clip. Moving back, as we know, Carlos Alcaraz has definitely had some tough losses in his career, but they pale in comparison to the collapse against Gaston. So heading forward to Roland Garros, can Alcaraz bring his electric best to Paris? Perhaps he needs to emulate a bit of Novak's energy from the 2023 Australian Open. Over the last couple of years, the French have warmed up to him. However, it would bring him greater energy if he could stick it to the French crowd and play his best tennis at Roland Garros. I hope I have re-sparked a memory from the past, whereby an upcoming Carlos Alcaraz took a tough defeat and used it as a great learning curve and motivation to deliver great success in the last couple of years. And for all we know, this loss still plays on the mind of Carlos Alcaraz, and coupled with the manner in which he lost to Novak Djokovic at last year's French Open, Alcaraz has a story to finish off, or should I say, a chapter to finish off at this year's French Open. Probably the first of many. And, who knows, he may even have to take out Hugo Gaston along the way. That is, if he doesn't purposely drop balls out of his pocket. That's enough talking. Let's play the highlights of a match from some two and a half years ago that is something that I always think about when I watch Carlos Alcaraz play. So, without further ado, roll the video. But before I do, please make sure to like and subscribe as we head into Roland Garros, as Sportic will be delivering a lot of exclusive tennis content. Enjoy the highlights.
Yeah, okay.